The entire country now knows that the People's Alliance Party, I will try and avoid using party because we are registered as the People's Alliance. The entire country now knows that the People's Alliance and the National Federation Party have reached an agreement, an agreement to work together. I made a brief announcement of this at the People's uh, Alliance Assembly in uh, No Sorry two weeks ago. The plan was warmly welcomed by almost 2,000 members of our party. Senior members of the National Federation Party were also present at that function. Professor Midman Prasad, the National Federation Party leader, was at that first uh, convention. There was further reference to the agreement by the Honorable Professor Biman at the National Federation Party's big annual convention at the weekend. I also, also spoke then about what it all means for Fiji. All those National Federation Party supporters welcomed the agreement with accolade. Today, we gather for this announcement of what we have been discussing for several months. The Honorable Professor Biman Prasad and I will sign a joint statement that will be circulated to you, gentlemen and ladies of the press corps. But before that, I'm <coughs> issuing my own commentary as People's Alliance party leader. And also, Professor, Honorable Professor Biman will do the same thing. This memorandum of understanding is a very important step in Fiji's political rebirth. It also sets out a new path for the new, for the governance of our nation, the new mode of governance for our nation. The MOU underscores the vast differences between our two parties and the two people who control the government of today. We are now committed to working together to advance the well-being and the aspirations of the people. We have a basis for cooperation through combining thoughts, ideas, and talents to give Fiji the best outcomes. When disagreements arise, they will be managed and resolved, bearing in mind the broader interests of the people and their expectations. We have done that before. The dictatorial duo controlling the disastrous direction of Fiji at the moment could never be party to this kind of democratic initiative. They have no interest in joining with others to tackle the country's many problems. They just want complete control for as long as possible. As we know, this has led, into a, led us into a state of crisis that grips virtually every aspect of national life. It is our intention to win enough support to form a government. We will govern through discussion, through dialogue, and through debate and compromise when necessary. The views of the people will always be paramount. They are ultimately in charge. What they say must be respected. We will ensure that democracy, government of the people, by the people, for the people, works as it should. Right now, Fiji is, is a democracy in name only. Those in power have no appreciation or understanding of it. A government led by the People's Alliance and the National Federation Party will bring to an end nighttime incarcerations of those who express views that the government does not like. We will scrap oppressive legislation and ensure democratic rights and freedoms of the people are protected. These will become fundamental to the tolerant, open, caring form of nationhood to which we aspire. A PA-NFP government 
will be guided by the principle that all human beings are born free and equal. It will stand against racism, discrimination and prejudice. We will seek to create an enduring culture of inclusivity, respect and concern for those in need. There will be frequent consultations right across the community. We want to hear all views. Let me repeat today that the people of Fiji need each other. We have been separated by our, our differences for too long. Now is the time for a united, all-embracing approach to making Fiji everything we wish it to be. This is what the announcement today represents. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen.